dressed in pink join forces on Belle Isle as the Susan G. Komen Michigan Race for the Cure kicked off Sunday. Thousands walking and running to stop breast cancer in its tracks. People like Oliver Fisher and his family, who understand the reality of breast cancer, can sometimes be devastating after losing his wife, Shanna, and mother to his kids. Uh, a year ago, to, you know, today, we were here. We did the walk together with the family and our big group of people. Uh, Get Your Pink On is the name of the group. And uh, a month later, she uh, passed away from metastatic breast cancer. It's horrible to know that people have to go through this. And it's like... That pain, that loss of a loved one who can never be replaced is why this family fights to end this disease. Yeah. We would not want another family to have to go through what we have gone through. So anytime we could find a cure for something like this and not watch a loved one pass away or have to deal with the grief of losing a loved one, I mean, anything that we could do to raise money to find a cure is obviously a great cause. It's estimated that nearly 4,500 people came out to Belle Isle to support support this effort, many cancer survivors. And I've had five surgeries, um, but I'm doing great. A sea of pink showcased in spirited and vibrant attire was on display among the participants, raising money to fight breast cancer. I just think that the Detroit community coming together in support of the breast cancer community, of each other, of the people that we've lost, it's just been a magical day. And money raised at this event funds more than research. We are also funding for access to breast cancer services. We know that thousands of breast cancer patients are forced to choose between paying their mortgage and paying for medication or getting life-saving services. And those are the disparities that we are here to end. If you would like to donate to Race for the Cure, go to fox2detroit.com for details. So we've got about $45,000 to go to our goal, and we are fundraising to the end of October, so there is plenty of time. In Detroit, Ingrid Kelly, Fox. Two news. You are taking a live look right now at our downtown.